Good afternoon from the Disney Springs bus board. We don't have very many resorts left at Disney. We got one more value resort and that is All Star Movies. Excuse me, sir, at the... I, I'd like to look at this sign too. Oh, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Jen's here with me. I got to come today. Queen of the bus, queen of the bus, queen of the bus, queen of the bus. Take your throne. King of the bus. And we're off. Wait, I have to get my luggage. That's the big luggage. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> is that the right? Is that the right thing to do? The guy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Look, there's a red carpet. We're gonna walk the red carpet. What are you wearing? Bam, 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 bam. Are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing uh, no way, Disney no. <laughs> by Disney. All right, we're heading into the main lobby. Yeah, see, All Star Resorts. And I like, here's another red carpet. And then as soon as we walk into our right is the registration desk with the skyline of Hollywood painted in the background. Off to the left is a little area for seating and waiting for your room to be ready. And then just behind that seating area, they've got movie theater seats, watching a really big TV. This is the biggest TV I've seen in any resort, but they're watching Princess and the Frog. Oh, and they've got surround sound and everything. Ooh, this one's fancy. Right across from Concierge. There is a step and repeat, but it's also, you've got a spot to take a photo here. You can have a photo frame or the director's chairs. This is pretty neat. And I like it looks like uh, Disneyland's castle, not actually ours. And then over here, they've got all kinds of stuff up on the walls that are uh, screenshots or stills from movies. I've got a picture of Walt. This is one of the first places that I've seen a picture of Walt Disney at Walt Disney World. But there just aren't very many pictures of him compared to Disneyland. And then of course, Alfred Hitchcock. And there they are, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker. And then here's another one of these windows that is, it's screens, and I still don't understand why it's screens. This was like this at the other place. And I don't, or at other resorts, and I don't know why. Is this one of the things that says your name that's attached to your magic band? I don't know. Oh. Never seen it change. One time I saw it on the window screen here, which was pretty funny. So off to the left from that is double feature, Donald's double feature, and it is the gift shop here, which is very similar to the other gift shops from the other uh, all-star resorts. And we'll put a link in the description down below and up in this corner to the other resort tours that we have done for the all-star resorts. One of the things that we notice here that's actually really unique that I've never seen before is this is a reversible shirt. I just don't know how you get rid of the tag. I think you just cut it out. Just cut it out and then you have maybe a tag. This one, I don't understand how it's reversible though because this one has the tag here. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm so confused. Is this a different inside? No, it's this. Oh, it is. It is different. No, it's, no, the, it's same. the same. Huh. How strange. How much is this shirt? Uh, let's see, because you're getting two shirts in I'm saying $32.95. You just saw the you, you cheated. I did, I cheated. I'm sorry. It was three bucks for two shirts. That's kind of a good deal. But you can only wear them one at a time, so it's really just one shirt. We can only wear the other two shirts. I know, but like once you wear it once, you can't wear it like the next day because then it's dirty. You have to wash it. So as with the other resorts and other gift shops, they have basic Disney merchandise. And then as we turn, this is the area where they have the different concess. They call it concessions. What are these? This is just like food and various housewares that you can get. Just snacky type stuff, nothing too intense. And then of course, beer and wine over here. And then they have the sundry stuff where you can get like a bottle of liquor. Or a cigar. And that's what I was saying, they call these concessions. I do like the theming. It's very, very slight, but they've got movies playing on all the screens. And then they've got will call for package pickup, a box office for paying for stuff, concessions for paying for stuff. And then another box office over here for uh, paying for your merchandise. So just outside of Donald's double feature is the doorway that leads out to the buses and the Walt Disney World transportation. Of course, the mailbox, the phones, and the bathrooms. I have found that most resorts have uh, mailboxes now. And then there's a little machine back here where you can get SIM cards or prepaid phone cards. They do not have phones anymore, except for these ones here that are just used for dialing locally. You can dial any 407 number for free or dial up to a room, I think. Actually, no, I don't know if you can dial up to a room. 
I think it's just a regular old phone. They did add a USB wall charger over here though. I wonder is that at all of them? Nope, just at this one. Right next to Concierge, there's a board here that tells you the different times for all of the parks and Disney Springs and stuff like this. Typhoon Lagoon, temporarily closed. Mom, 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 wow. Uh, because it is uh, under refurbishment right now. Sorry, I got distracted because it says Disney Springs, the landing, the marketplace, and the west side. I thought they all closed at 2, but apparently they all closed at 11. And from that guest services board, we turn to the left, and you can see world premiere food court. And this is where we ate the food from the secret menu. <laughs> secret menu. Also, there's some pressed penny machines in here and a pressed quarter machine. Is there anything interesting? Anything like all starry? I think these right here, these are very, very much film centric, right? I think they're all, they all are. Oh, oh yeah. you mean because they have Yeah, film. they have like film, gotcha. film reels. These are cool. I like that all throughout the food court here, they have movie posters up on the wall. You are the cinema. Is that right? <laughs> A Hollywood treasure. That's true. So over here to the left, we've got Majestic and they serve pizzas and flatbreads and pasta. Monster slice of pepperoni pizza. Oh, is that it? It's like a quarter of the pizza that you get. Holy cow. One slice of pizza is $11.29 or the whole pizza is $20. Right next to Majestic is Lyric. Looks like they sell all kinds of sandwiches. Just regular old deli sandwiches, I guess. Burgers. And burgers? Is there a burger? Is that a burger? No, that's a roast beef sandwich. Oh gosh, I don't have my glasses on. Oh no. You can get the ultimate grilled cheese though. Wow, that sounds actually really good. I feel like this is the best selection of food I've seen at any value resort. To the right of Lyric is Grand. Now showing Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown, and an artichoke to remember. So Valentine's Day is tomorrow. That's why it says Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. And this is the grab and go section where you can get, you know, chips and stuff, sweets which this still looks so darn good. Oh look, this one's special for Valentine's Day. How neat is that? It's edible glitter. Does it? Yeah, see all the oh, glitter? Yeah, it is edible glitter. I wonder what it's oh. made of. Sugar? Oh. Uh, fancy, healthy chips made of rice? I think this is gluten-free stuff. Oh, okay, like, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. And then we've got beer and wine over here. You can get a whole bottle of wine, some regular old bottled beverages, and then we get over to the parfaits and the fruits and the pickles in a pouch. <laughs> and then this looks like you could buy a wedding cake down here. Right? That looks like a wedding cake. These look so good. Whoa. And then they have little pre-made things over here. So this is like a pre-made kids meal, like a lunch. And they've got kids chicken wraps. Childberry salad. Childberry salad. I think it means chill. No, it's for kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kids' corner. Oh. I still like childberry salad, well, though. It's a childberry. Well, it is a childberry. <laughs> Off to the right of Grand is Roxy, and this is where we got our secret menu item. And you can kind of see the basis of all of the secret menu items here on the menu. You get like a double bacon cheeseburger, and then macaroni and cheese, and then over here is a chili cheese dog. So it's all there but you just still have to ask them for the secret menu. And then right next to Roxy is Rialto, where you can get all kinds of desserts and yummy, yummy ice cream sundaes. A cup full of donut holes. I love these edible pearls. They're like chocolate pearls. Oh, another Valentine's Day cupcake. Cheesecake. This chocolate eclair or vanilla eclair. Vanilla chocolate eclair? It's both. It looks very good. These are some fancy looking desserts. Also available here at Rialto. Bloody Marys and Mimosas! Yes, not only do they have the chilled whole bottles of wine, but you can get just regular room temperature bottles of wine. Look, this isn't bad. $14 at Disney for a bottle of wine. Yeah, this, the Skywalker is only $19, so I kind of thought it would be way more. Right? Toad Hollow. Purple Cowboy, there it is, see? This guy named his horse Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a quick overview of the uh, the dining hall. But I think the funniest thing is they have decorated the walls with milk ads and the spy kids are judging you for not drinking milk. Oh, you thought I was kidding? Yeah. You didn't think that all of the pictures on the wall were milk ads? Because they are. 
there's many more. And as always, the drink area is here in the center. And then as we turn, we see Silver Screen Spirits, which is the outdoor bar that also has an indoor section here. And we can get all kinds of fun uh, drinks that you can take out and have by the pool, or you can order them outside and take them out by the pool. Is this a special drink for here? The director's cut? And remember, toasters are for bread and bagels only. So that was everything from World Premier Food Court. And now we turn and we head towards the pool, but we don't go out to the pool just yet. We're gonna make a right into the arcade over here. Real fun, the real fun arcade. And as always with the all-star resorts next to the arcade is the fuel rod location and the ATM. That's not always the case for all-star resorts. Sometimes they're up by the bathrooms, but fuel rod is always here. Let's see what kind of games they have inside of the real fun arcade. Ah, at Fruit Ninja. Lots and lots of air hockey, racing games. Ski ball. Oh, they have like one of the old school ski ball games. Look, it's a little bit longer. What is regulation ski ball length? <laughs> Another uh, photo strip booth here. Lots and lots of stuff here. Fun, fun games. Oh no, Jen, there's your racket right there. You're really good at playing the basketball games. Should I like challenge him? Oh yeah, do it. I always like to look and see what kind of uh, pinball machines are here because this one has an avatar pinball machine. Look at, they're like basically showing Star Wars on this little TV right here. What is that all about? Oh, there's a Death Star. This is a this is a fancy pinball machine. This is cool. Right? It has like a TV in it. I know. And these are 3D. I don't think you guys can see that they're 3D. They're like the ventricular. Yeah. Lin lenticular. <laughs> I think that they just got a shipment of massage chairs in because it, ever since we saw it at Wilderness Lodge, that was the first I've seen of massage chairs in any of these. Now all of them have it. And I think they also just got a uh, golden tea and this weird like lawn darts game. Look at these people just relaxing next to these people playing lawn darts. Do they not know how dangerous lawn darts are? Be careful, lady. So as we leave real fun, I just noticed there's a lot of signs out. So out by the pool, they're having a tie-dye thing where you buy a shirt and then you tie-dye it yourself or you can do socks. Oh no, we showed up a little bit late. This is today, this is Fat Tuesday. Uh, we could have seen roaming entertainment. Cookie decorating out in the food court is, is going on, what, right now? So back to looking at real fun, let's turn and check out the resort grounds and the different pools. First thing that we see when we walk out of the lobby is the Fantasia pool. And of course it is in the Fantasia section of the hotel. So out in the pool, there is a lot of pool deck at this pool, like a lot. Here's a little bit better look at the Fantasia pool. I don't know exactly what it's shaped like, but check out Mickey doing his magic over there at the other end. Spray him water after he stole the sorcerer's hat. Oh, check it out, you can see over there, they've got the brooms that were helping carry the buckets that Mickey was trying to use the magic to help clean up. So as we turn away from the main pool, we look over here and it looks like they've got a little splash pad for the kids over here and a little kiddie pool. There's Fantasia, Fantasia 2000, decorating the Fantasia buildings. I don't know, is this, was it like a Nutcracker suite? I don't remember that part of Fantasia. I don't either. But this is really neat, they look like I don't know what this has to do with Fantasia either. There's just like rock work and spraying water. I think you could stand in there and look like Mickey controlling the water. And then they also have bathrooms and laundry over here. Guest laundry. B L F G I J H W uh, Tin Soldier K D A. Oh, it was an R. Dang it. At the main pool, the Fantasia pool, just behind Mickey, you can kind of see the water squirting out right there. There's a ping pong table and a couple of tables back here for that are a little bit quieter than the main area of the pool. And then we're heading back to do some more exploring about Fantasia. Maybe this was from Fantasia 2000 because I'm kind of remembering this Jack in the Box from Fantasia 2000. And the books on the end of the building kind of give that away. So Fantasia 2000 here, regular old Fantasia. What is going on with that sorcerer's hat? It's all crumply. It kind of looks like the sorting hat. It does. Oh my. He's scary, and the lightning rods coming out of his hat do not help. Imagine him being struck by lightning. 
Oh gosh. I always like to look at the signs as I'm going around the resorts because I had no idea that the main lobby was called Cinema Hall. One of the things that I love about the All-Star Resorts is how large all of the different theming elements are. Look at the size of these enchanted brooms. They're so big. Here in the Fantasia section, as you can see, here's the enchanted brooms over there. There's the creepy Jack in the Box guy. There's Friar Donald and Friar Daisy. I don't understand what this is. I think it's from Fantasia. Aren't they wearing the Fantasia outfit? They kind of are, but I don't remember. Maybe I need to watch Fantasia again because I don't remember this. So as you can see, Cinema Hall is up front there. Fantasia pool here. We are turning past the old Fantasia building with the new Fantasia 2000 building on our left. And we're heading back into Herbie area or the love bug area. This is cool. Do you think there are enough people that know who Herbie the love bug is? I was kind of wondering, do you think they'll retheme this at some point? Maybe. I, they can't do cars because they have that all over at the other one. Yeah. So what would it be? I don't know. Hmm. But look, there's an actual love bug right there. This is the winner's circle. This is neat. I like this. I think that more people should be appreciative of Herbie the love bug. I think this is my favorite section of the hotel so far too. Yeah, it's very cool. And it's quieter back here too. Oh, this is the actual car that was used in the Magic Kingdom oh, parades. Oh, I thought it was in the <laughs> movies. I was like, whoa, this is the car from the movies. No, it's just a car from the parades. I oh, know somebody opened the door. That's not good. Oh. I think somebody went inside of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is very neat though. Look at his eyeballs. Yeah. I bet you they moved around during the parade. I don't think that that's original though, that VW symbol up at the top. I don't think any Volkswagen bug had that. Oh, it's a cabrio too. Wow. Very nice. Or is that, oh, I wonder what was here. Somebody stole the trophy. It's a mystery. Oh, this is neat. So it looks like Herbie is up on a lift. Like this looks like a car lift. Pretty neat stuff. I really like the theming of the all-star resorts. Here around the outside, you can see they've put imprints in the concrete. Looks like tools, like some wrenches and stuff. Some piston rings. Oh, it's meant to be there. Like nuts and bolts. I thought it was an accident. I thought so too, but <laughs> we're on the backside. There's the car that was used in the parades. And we're at the very end of the property now. And I wanted to see what was on these slates over here. Oh, I wonder if this is correct. 1219 millimeter. Do you think that's the actual size of this wrench? Real life? Because 1219 is huge millimeters. Millimeters are a thousandth of a meter. I know, but I don't know. I think it's going to be like one million millimeters. Maybe. Look how big it is. I know. Million meters. This slate is for the production Bananas, directed by Daisy. And then this one over here is from the production Monte Carlo, directed by Donald. That which, neither of which have anything to do with Herbie the Love Bug. Jen brings up a good point. What? Was this area themed to Herbie always? Yeah, I wonder if it was themed to something else before the Herbie movie. But, but, but do you think that they themed it to the Herbie movie when the Lindsay Lohan Herbie movie came out? Yes. Okay. Because that's when this was built. Was it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hmm. It was a fairly new resort. So back at the front of the winter circle, and what we're doing is we are turning and heading back to Cinema Hall because this resort's kind of shaped like a T. So we can come back this way, or we can go off to the left or to the right. And we're gonna go back up to Cinema Hall and make a left and head in that direction, see what's over there. I think the Mighty Ducks are over there. As we're walking back through the Fantasia area, I always gotta ask, so this hedge right here is shaped like a star. Is that for Fantasia or is that for All Stars? I'm gonna go with All Stars. I'm gonna go with Fantasia. Oh. So here we are back at Cinema Hall. Here is the Fantasia pool and we went back to Herbie that way. And now we're headed this way in through the 101 Dalmatian section and back to the Mighty Ducks section. Ooh. I like how they made it a fire hydrant for the stairwell. Dogs pee on those. They're all like little bones and stuff in the concrete here for the 101 Dalmatian section. Ooh, here's a question. Are there 101 of them and are they all, no, they're not all different. Like this one's exactly <laughs> the same as that one. What the heck, man? Disney cutting corners. Who knew that the dog bones had names? They say canine crunchies. Pongo, you old dog. I, I don't know what the girl dog's name is. Do you guys? I just know that the guy is named Pongo because he gave, like, was the father, the sire to 101 Dalmatians. And the guy who is the main character of the movie says, Pongo, you old dog, or something like that. So I'm just going to see how many times I can say, Pongo, you old dog. What if there were a hundred of them all around here 
And then this one right here was the 101st watching TV. Wait a minute. Are all of the little trucks that are on top, are those the bad guys? Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to steal the puppies. Huh. I don't know where Cruella is, though. I was just wondering that. Yeah. There's no Cruella. There's a TV photo spot here. I like that they painted the rug on the floor and everything. And then here's the 101st Dalmatian. What's his name? Leave it in the comments down below. And now's the part of the video where we count puppies. Uh -huh. One, two, three, 99, 100, and one. Here's a question. Do these guys count though? They're repainting the canine crunchies, making them look good. So from 101 Dalmatians, that's where Cinema Hall is, the main lobby. Then we go through 101 Dalmatians and we turn and we're heading into the Mighty Ducks section. And it looks like they're doing some construction on this pool. Kind of, I'm thinking that they're recoding it. But I have to admit, the theming would be so easy for this pool. And I don't think they did it. Ah, oh, they didn't. Why wouldn't you make this a melted skating rink, right? That's the perfect theming because it's it's Mighty Ducks hockey, but it looks like they did the skating rink around the outside. Eh, close, close. And they've also got some more bathrooms and some guest laundry over here. Let's see if we can pop into the guest laundry. I like that these are themed like lockers. They got the helmets in there and the hockey sticks. Does the hockey sticks have a, a name other than hockey sticks? Or are they just called hockey sticks? Here's the puck hitters. Here's the guest laundry. It's very similar to all of the other guest laundry areas that we've seen. It's very nice. It's it's clean. I noticed though that all of the other ones had like a seating area. This one doesn't. Right. But it does have folding area so you can fold your clothes. I feel like these, uh, so like these are normal, what we've seen everywhere for dryers, but these washing machines look new. Like they look newer than the other ones that we've seen. <gasps> oh no, somebody left their underwear. I like this Coke machine. Where magic is real, inside of the Coke machine. You know what's not really magic? Candy. I don't know why, because the Donald and Daisy have nothing to do with the Mighty Ducks, other than the fact that they're ducks, but the, the men's room here is called the Donald section. The laundry area is called the Ducks section. And the women's room is called the Daisies section. We're seeing a lot of uh, duck theming around this resort. We saw Donald and Daisy over there in the Fantasia section. We're in the duck Mighty Duck section, we got Donald themed bathrooms. I like over here to the side of the pool, we got a giant scoreboard. This guy, player number seven, is in the penalty box for a minute and 22. Not doing so good, number seven. Oh, it's four to three. End of the third period. Almost done. There's only eight sec. What is that? Is that an eight? I don't think those are real numbers. The large centerpiece of this section is the large duck shaped goalie's mask from the Mighty Ducks. And they've got large hockey sticks and huge hockey pucks everywhere. Now I do have to admit, this stuff is kind of hard to see because there's a lot of tree, oh, over there, it's wide open. I should have been filming over there. All right, we'll go over there and show that section. I was thinking like, there's kind of a lot of trees next to these, so you can't really get a good clear shot of them. All of the, the stairwells are surrounded by goalie nets with pucks going into them. And then we've got huge hockey sticks and huge hockey pucks. And they've got a whole crowd up there watching you. And then if we turn this direction, we can kind of see one of the other all-star resorts over there. I think that the goals here on either end of the hockey pool are the showers. So you can take a shower before getting in the pool just by pulling on that chain. One of the things that I've always liked about Disney is the fact that they make signs specifically for when a pool is under construction. So like this one says, please go visit the Fantasia pool in the meantime while this is under construction. I don't know that they do that for every resort. This is kind of the best looking sign I've seen for this. This side looks pretty good. It's not blocked by too many trees. Still, it's very large and hard to kind of figure out what it is when you're close to it. I think it looks a lot better from further away. Now, wait a second. This hockey game is horribly unfair. Look at the size of this goal compared to the size of that little teeny tiny goal over there. What the heck? Who's, this is why the Mighty Ducks always won. They had the tiny goal. As we're turning past the Mighty Ducks section and we're leaving, I noticed this huge hockey puck. It looks like it hit the back of the net and they scored a goal. And we're headed back through the 101 Dalmatian section, past Cinema Hall, and heading out the other direction of the T that makes up the resort. We made it halfway through the 101 Dalmatian section and I looked back at the Mighty Ducks section and noticed that that pool they were working on is called Duck Pond Pool. There has been a group of girls that have been walking around wearing pink shirts, and now there's another group wearing purple shirts. Oh, no. it's a turf war. Uh-oh. 
It's like the, the sharks and the jets, right? What the heck? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We're staying out of it. <laughs> Isn't that what they did? I think so. <laughs> this hole. And then they like tied their hands together with bandanas. Oh yeah, and then they like fought their knives. And they yeah. Were... Well, that was the beat it uh, oh. <laughs> video, but you know, it's same thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Billy Jean. Oh. It's not beat it, but it's Billy Jean. That's really crazy. That is intense, right? But, yeah. They just started playing it at the pool if you guys can't hear it. I'm sorry. I know sometimes you say like, oh, can you guys hear that? And you can't hear it because of the muff on top of the camera. Yeah. So, but you guys know those pictures where you're like holding hands and like this? I think it's I think it's called a follow me picture. Okay, well we should do a different one where you hold it this way and you do the the like the, the knife, knife fight. Thing. Yeah, I like that. We'll do it all around the world. Million dollar idea. Right? Somebody will pay me a million dollars. Who? <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> As we turn from the 101 Dalmatian section, we're passing by the Fantasia pool and passing by Cinema Hall again, the main lobby. We're heading that direction down the other T. So right now we've done this section of the T this section of the tea and now we're heading into that section of the tea as we pass by cinema hall here's where we ate our food that that secret menu and then this is the screen this is the silver screen spirits bar and they're blasting some annie lennox is that annie lennox yeah okay i just wanted to make sure i second guessed myself for a second it makes me think of that vine of the guy that's like wow 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 <laughs> We're headed into the Toy Story section. There's a lot of stuff going on in front of my face here. Over here, all of the other spots that we've been to have been fake spots. This, that's the real spot <laughs> right there. Uh, I guess they're gonna play Princess and the Frog there later. So that's what we saw. That's where they're showing the movie. It's screened in, which is very nice. That is nice. There's a sign for sunrise yoga at 8.15 in the morning here at the real spot. When does the sun really rise? Way before 8.15 <laughs> yeah. now. And then, so like around 6.30 maybe? <laughs> Uh, now we're heading into the playground here off to the right. I like oh, this playground. It's I, very nice. I'm kind of bummed. I thought it would be like cooler themed because we're at a themed hotel. This is a value resort. Oh. <laughs> it's still a nice playground. Don't get me wrong. I just thought it would have a movie theme. Nope. It has a theme of learning braille. Oh. Oh, it does have a theme of learning braille. Uh, by the way, Disney, Pluto is no longer a planet. If you're gonna put Pluto in there, you might as well put the Coopier belt in too. Well, I guess they put the moon in, so I mean, that sort of is a thing, I guess. <laughs> this makes no sense. The Earth is nowhere close to Jupiter. What is this? Yeah, come on, your scale's way off, and there's an alien. This is actually a very nice playground. There's two different sections. There's a larger section here, and there's a littler section right over here for the smaller children. And everything's sand and soft, which is very nice. So far, my favorite thing about this entire playground is this one gardenia right here. It smells so good, smell it. I like that you can tell it, it's too much sun for the rest of the gardenias because this one's the only one in the shade. Oh yeah. And it's the only one that's bloomed. It smells so gardenias good. are my favorite smell in the world. That's my Florida oh, coming out. It smells so good. I, that and the night blooming jasmine oh, are yeah. the best, best scents. So I was gonna say my favorite scent is the, my favorite scents are the night blooming jasmine and the gardenia, uh -huh. but I think I'm gonna change that. What? I think I think the sixth sense is my favorite <laughs> sense. So the stairs in this section are themed after Bucket O soldiers and through the trees, I don't know if you guys can see it, we'll see if we can find a spot where it's not through the trees, but there's green army men up there. And then RC is out here, is that what his, I think his name is RC, right? I didn't even know he had a name. Yeah. Yeah, and there's like sheriff badges all over the wall over here and clouds just like, just like Andy's room. Oh there, you can see the toy soldiers up there. I gotta look him up. I gotta see what his name is. Let me take a picture. Okay, you can sit in it. I like that. I thought it was moving. Oh no. I love it when I get something right that I had no idea I knew. So his name is RC. Apparently he doesn't have an actual name. It's just RC car. Or RC for short. Uh, we're going into Andy's room. Oh, I didn't even realize it was a door. Yeah. How neat is that? Here's a better shot of the Green Army men up on the roof. I like the, the blue sky behind him. This looks really neat. We're heading into Andy's room. And you can tell because there's a sign that says keep out except for Molly. We're going into Andy's room. <laughs> wow. I had no, why are they aiming at Buzz? This is a hostile takeover. Oh no. Both of them, look, either side. They're pointing their guns at Buzz. Look at how big Buzz is though. The theming in here is really neat. So right here in the center is Rex and Bo Peep. And then there's uh, Woody. Look at how, look at Woody smolder. Uh -huh. He's doing better than Flynn Rider. Right? I like that it says Andy on his foot too. What do you think these are made out of? 
Fiberglass. Look at him smolder. Bo Peep is swooning right now. I thought his girlfriend was Jesse. No. Oh. Bo Peep and him. Oh, really? Yeah, I like that there's a window here too with the clouds on it. This is really neat. And there's a little checker set over here. Well, it's not little, it's actually gigantic. And I like that over there next to Buzz, it says to infinity and beyond. His smolder is not as good from over here. What if, what if he just like looked over at the camera? How frightening would that be? I would lose my mind. Well, I mean, anybody would lose their mind, but still. Oh, this is neat. Theming, right? Check it out. There's sheriff stars and clouds over here. And then over on Buzz's side, there's clouds and rocket ships. Oh. Theming. Yeah. Oh, well, there's some, some checkers they put over here so you can take a picture with Rex. Why is Rex so small compared to Woody? Because he's, he's really bigger than Woody, right? In the movies? I just wanted to get a closer shot of the words to infinity and beyond. If the sun wasn't here, I think I might put that as my phone background. Just those words. Like if I could take a picture of it correctly. I think it'd be pretty neat. And then there's Andy's window. I have a feeling that this theming is the best that I've seen so far. So we're back at Cinema Hall and I believe that that was the whole resort Let's just check over here at the directory and make sure we've seen everything because we just got done with Toy Story. We saw the real spot. We saw Silver Screen Spirits, Cinema Hall. There's the Fantasia Pool, Fantasia Section, Love Bug, 101 Dalmatians, Mighty Ducks, and the Mighty Ducks Pool. I think we've seen it all. And then I just wanted to show you guys the running trail real quick. It's the same thing. It's just, I'm not having any fun running. <laughs> You're just running alongside of the road. And it doesn't tell you how long it is. I don't know why. So there you have it. That was our all-star movies resort tour. That was a lot of fun. It was. Like, it's probably the most fun I've had on a resort tour. I think it mainly has to do with Jen being here. Uh, I'm so excited that I got to come. I never get to come on these. So one of the things that we noticed when we were here is there's kind of a lot of groups of people roaming oh, around. So yeah. I would be aware that there would be a pretty good crowd here at this hotel because it seems like these are the most popular hotels. Mm -hmm. So we've been to like maybe Polynesian when I was walking around there. It was very calm, very relaxing, well, didn't see very many people. That's the difference between a deluxe and a value. Right. So just be aware of the, the crowd level differences in the resort. Yeah. So yeah. all in all, great resort. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.